this week on the Hoover Boys. I mean, I should have known better. You know, God forbid I try hunting somewhere other than where you are. I'm hunting on the other side of the foundation. <laughs> Didn't take long for I heard my name screamed out. Apparently Mark has some shiny. All right, what did you do? It's, a, it's in the dirt hole there. I pushed this dirt off the top of it. Stop. Here? Yeah. Oh, it's a little one. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Well, good afternoon. Welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Nice, big, beautiful farm field here, nice and early. We got the boots working right there. We did not start at this farm. We started at a different permission. Mark went out this week and got us on two new permissions. Uh, we started at a different place. It was Gary, Mark, and me. And uh, we have a little bit of footage from that, so let's play that right now. I don't think any more dirt's gonna come off of it. You know. Well, Gary. First on the board, have not been here very long. Has a one piece button here. There we go, one piece button. A little fancy job, a little fancy civilian button. Definitely has some flowers on it. Can't really tell exactly what else is going on there. I'm sure it's just floral design. Very cool. First find of the day. What? I think. For the one the day we could, yeah, we couldn't even get one of them done the other day. Well, the other day we were hunting. A little place a little older than D. Yeah. <laughs> older than D. <laughs> older than D. <laughs> <laughs> sounds really good now. <laughs> it sounds really good sounds now, really huh? Good now. He says it didn't sound good. It was shallow. And he's got a copper. I can already see details from here. I don't know what it is, though. You gonna leave it there? Yeah. Let's sit and Almost look like a braided. Right. Yeah, it's braided. It's braided. Nice. Awesome. Well, we ha certainly have not been here very long, and that's a good sign. Well, that certainly is nice. Very early on in our hunt, <laughs> we haven't gone but 50 feet. It is an 1848 braided hair, large scent. Definitely looks like it was in circulation for some time. It's it's worn smooth, but the sandy soil, no chunk on it. Very nice coin. There you go. Very much. Hopefully there's more to be found. So unfortunately, Gary kind of jinxed that place by digging the copper pretty much right off the bat. Um, we gave it some time. I spent most of my time up in the yard at that place. It looked like a house about 200 years old, maybe 1820s. And I found nothing but clad and a few wheat scents. These guys were doing some orbits out in the field and found a few buttons. But we didn't stay there too, too long. Gary had somewhere to be. So Mark and I came to this place. And right over there where the shrubs are, there's actually a foundation to a 1700s home, a beautiful brick foundation. Mark and Gary did tickle this place for like an hour or so before the sun went down a few days ago and found some old stuff. So we know there's some old stuff here. Either way, we're going to have some fun and say some history. Let's go. All right. All right. The Boots wants to live dig one. It's a little jumpy, but pretty tight signal. 44, 45 for me. I mean, haven't been too many higher tones in this field yet. I dug a deep one over there. It was hot garbage. <laughs> but I'm used to that. Can't all be winners. No. You got it. Yep. Yeah. It's in right here somewhere. It doesn't sound terribly deep. Be something fun. In the hole. There it is. Small set. It's the rivet. rivet. <laughs> it's the rivet. It's always the rivets. It's always the rivets. Oh well. <laughs> they always sound like a little half dime. Yeah. What was that one that's fancy? No. No. Yes, no. <laughs> Sometimes no. they got a little anchor or a little star on them. Yeah. Alright, well. Alright. I might have a rivet. Yeah. Dead 46. I mean that's what most of the coppers and or silver dimes beep on this machine. Oh, got it out. Pretty shallow, huh? Yeah, it wasn't deep. Thought I had it out. Thought it was ever this way. Try again. Is it this? 
It's this? That ain't right. Come on. What is it? Just a little piece of copper wire. <laughs> Thick copper wire. Uh, <laughs> that, right. that definitely sounded like a coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely taking me a little while to get on the board today. Finally have something old. Gotta start sometime. There's a worm. And I found a button. <laughs> No shank, didn't have a back mark, not much in the face, but I finally started my day. It's probably about two o'clock. <laughs> this place definitely has potential though. I like it. Well, we've uh, wandered our way out in the middle of the field. There's a little hump out here we wanted to investigate. And there is some light iron. Mark's picked up a few buttons and I just got something here. You got me an old barrel tap. Pretty cool. We do not know what we're on yet. Whether this is a trash dump up here or a home site of some sort but we're gonna find out soon definitely not a modern barrel tap definitely an old one well we're out in sort of no man's land got a signal here and I wasn't expecting to see a coin <laughs> flipped her over gave her a swipe it's an Indian head scent out here in the middle of this field it's a 1900 Indian head scent soil here is kind of sandy that's beautiful Freaking yard Indian out here in the middle of the field. Gotta love it. I definitely need a little luck change. I'm gonna give her a kiss for good luck. All right, we got a little bit of time left. We're just gonna putz around here until it gets dark. I have a good feeling though. I mean, everywhere we've been, we well, Mark has found a button. He's got a handful of them so far. And I finally got me a coin today. Very happy with it. Well, this hole here, finally got another old thing. And boy, this is a very early button. Old drilled out shank. It beeped like a tomback, but it's not tomback material. But I wanted to show some of Mark's buttons since he's found a few. All these buttons? Mm -hmm. well, Come on, man. Two of them are snaps. This is a. Uh, uh, you got some jeans snaps. This is Dad Jr. <laughs> Dad Jr. You got there. Two P uh, three P's from the other site. Yeah, okay. You got two D's? Two D's. Parasol. We need to get on that Gary Copper game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I should have known better. You know, God forbid I try hunting somewhere other than where you are. I'm hunting on the other side of the foundation. Stay close. <laughs> Didn't take long for I heard my name screamed out. Apparently Mark has some shiny. All right, what'd you do? It's, a, it's in the dirt hole there. I pushed this dirt off the top of it stop. Here? Yeah. Oh, it's a little one. Yeah. <laughs> I know what size that is, but I don't want to say nothing. Uh huh. Yeah, plug it off of there. It's about to fall. <laughs> Half time. It's kind of what it looks like. Did I hit it? I don't it's know. Shiny on the edge. Uh oh. What did you do that it. for? It was down in there. Well, something hit it. <laughs> you gonna spray her up uh, or what? Get this cap off. I don't know variety yet. Oh, half dime. Did it work? I don't know. Seated? Seated half dime. You definitely smacked your buddy. No. <laughs> Sorry. Edge of it. Sorry to tell you. I'm, I'm getting good at that these days. Well, at least you're finding them. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to hit one today. <laughs> 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 Let's see if I can get a close up of this coin without dropping it. It is an 1838 Seated Liberty half dime. Absolutely beautiful little coins. We have not found one in a while. The reverse is very sharp. The obverse uh, had some recent removal of it's details. So super sharp. <laughs> <laughs> On the edge. Congratulations, awesome Thanks. coin. I'm glad. It. Glad one of us did it. Yeah, man. <laughs> we can always count on you, Muck. Oh, yeah. Can always count on you. Good job. We still got plenty of time. Um, I like the area I was hunting in over there, but I didn't find anything old. And yeah. this is where we were finding the older buttons up here, right? I think on the map there was an old garage or something over there, so it could be. I, uh, I found a match match box match box. I can't ma matchbox car. Yeah, man. I'm tired. I'm out of it. So I made a mistake of wandering away from Mark again, and he's finding some old stuff. I have literally dug nothing but can slaw, pull step, pull tabs, and bottle caps up closer to the foundation. I think I got. But this guy, that button and that button. You got some fancy stuff. Yeah. Nice dandy there. Look at that one. And 
That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, man. Holy cow. That's silver wash too, isn't it? Heavy, yeah, heavy silver wash. I bet wash. that looked amazing coming out of the ground. Yeah, I thought it was a tea reals. Look, I literally had two buttons. Uh, that looks like a not, silver button. I'm not trying to hold them all. <laughs> <laughs> I know better than one in a way, but I keep doing it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flank you. All right, flank me. <laughs> Might be big. Mark wants to jinx one. I have found a button since my uh, flanking began. I mean, you're finding some old stuff over here. We got, we got a at least popper live. Be see nice. If, see if something special happens. Yeah. <laughs> Think I can hit this? I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> it's like out of all this, the signals you, you you dug today, you got to smack the only one that was silver. Did it fall out? I popped that right there. Did it rim? Hey, it looks like bottle something cap? I can find today. How about that? <laughs> An old bottle cap. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, that rang not... up like a silver. It's kind of silvery. It's got a nice reeded edge. <laughs> I appreciate you digging that one for uh, me. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me a coin. Last signal was a button. One of them thick little fat ones. Beeping like a weedy. This sounds decent. 44 out of the hole. Something fun. Anything fun. Is that a rivet? That is my second rivet on the day. <laughs> oh, that one sounded great. Uh, okay. Keep on keeping on, that's all I can do. You gotta try them. Oh, I gotta keep trying. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the sun is setting. The last uh, little bit of time, I was cooking Mark and I lunch. He brought a couple steaks. So we threw those in our belly, we're back at it. And they got me something old. <laughs> it's not been a whole lot today, but looks like a little either oval button or oval cuffling it's kind of big to be a cuff but it's definitely oval do not think there's any design on it but it's something old i haven't had too many things old today so afraid to get it on film sunset it's almost closing time in the dark live digging signal here at around 40. weedy half dime half real all those types of numbers Since it's built so old, I haven't found much today for you. I'd love to get. I think I have it moved. Be round. It's round. I don't think it's shiny. It's probably gonna be a weedy. <laughs> Let me go to a camera with some light. I still haven't looked at it. I'm rubbing it up though. Survey says it's a weedy. There's Abraham Lincoln. And there's the wheat back. All right, well, got another coin. Not a very old one. This is an early field, man. Like, some of Mark's buttons are tombacks. We found shoe buckle tongue out here. These people did not, I think they had money because some of his buttons are fancy, but they were money tight. They didn't lose any of it. Ugh, <sighs> digging in the dark. <laughs> Fools you sometimes. In the light of my pinpointer. That looked like a little tribe. <laughs> Not a little button. At least got some gold gilt on it. But finding a few things now that it's dark. It's definitely some sort of little play coin. Whatever. <laughs> Tyler, the way for gold. It's cool. Uh, so Gary actually met back up with us, detected for a little while, finding a couple more buttons. But it got dark. We beeped into the dark, found a few things. It's not a whole lot. Uh, if none of us found a copper at this place, it means there wasn't any lost here. But we did fill up the board with some stuff. I mean, the board definitely looks healthy. I just didn't, you know, find any old coins today. Luckily, you guys did. There's the dump bucket. Found plenty of uh, non-desirables. A lot of wire for me here. But let's go over what we actually found. Did get a little Hot Wheels. <laughs> did get a buckle and a scotch and piece. There's my Wheaties. Got a Cracker Jack ring and... Either sad turtle or uh, ET looking watch fob thingy. You got the barrel tap. It's all my clad from the first sight. 
got six buttons this thing sounded like a coin but they gave me a nice beautiful little indian 1900 gary got some uh pieces up top there got a musket ball and here's his buttons he got more buttons than me and he dug like six hours less than me <laughs> he did get a weedy and a large scent right off the bat very smooth rated hair large scent but it's cool copper mark got some big shell casings double d's some flim and some flam there's all his memorials and taco money got a couple uh modern buttons lee and a dad jr um he got some nice buttons though that one there possibly military he's got to clean it up a little bit more a little flower button a few nice dandy buttons there's that coin we were talking about it looks like somebody walking up behind a dog it says coin at the bottom I'm assuming some sort of play coin he thought there was an elephant on this side there might be some sort of creature like that on there but he he got some wheaties and a uh hemweight hemweight thank you <laughs> and he got the find of the day and the little seated liberty half dime unfortunately the obverse uh got the it's mine yeah I to make it the, the muck mint mark <laughs> you can make it look however you want it's just like this little tiny silver coin it's you know it's awesome he found it like i said when you found it i would have been very happy to oh, find it the way you did yeah right <laughs> well thank you guys for watching until next time help clean up the ground dig it all and take your trash with you why because all holes matter where are the coppers oh there's one. <laughs> oh no bugs it, it's 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 too cold out here for bugs it was a nice warm day but i'm not looking forward to bugs Forty-five, forty-six. Definitely sounds like a coin. Hopefully, it's an older coin. It's right behind the old foundation now. Just out in the field. Forty-six. Come on. Show yourself. That's a funny-looking coin. <laughs> it really is. Oh goodness gracious. I have faith. There's gonna be a coin in here. Nice old one. Come on, let's keep going. It's kind of like his half dime, lower 40s. Did not have my hand digger today. Left it at home with everything else. What's that? Something shiny. Not a coin. Uh, looks like a hunk of junk. I always thought it was a thimble at first but it's not <sighs> looks like the cap off of something <sighs> all right well my luck continues on live digs today